beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets. A little windy outside today, but oh well, we'll manage. It's not too bad. The weather's still nice. Uh, first beer review after Vakin. Vakin was freaking phenomenal this year. And you've probably seen the stupid drunk footage, but some of you guys wanted to see footage from Vakin, so I just thought, what the heck? I've posted that stuff before. So, um, yeah, uh, the shirt I bought here, you see, back in 2013. I really recommend it, guys. If you're a metalhead, some of you guys, I know a lot of you guys actually are metalheads. Especially if you're in Europe, go to Vakin at least once. It's so epic. And this year was so much better than last year because the weather was awesome. So, nice stuff. Uh, but yeah, today I'm going to be looking at an IPA from Leavik Akshepoyeli, which is, or Leavik Brewery, uh, which is a, a, a brewery that's right now becoming known for brewing McKellar beers, and this is their Galaxy IPA, a single hop Galaxy IPA. I have to say thanks to, I think it's Inge, Inge? We say Inge in Denmark. Uh, Inge We, I think it's called on Twitter, who uh, visited my city and visited the beer store I work at and left some Navy beers for me, so thanks a bunch, man. Uh, it's a 6.5% IPA on 100 IBUs, single hopped with Galaxy Hops. Galaxy Hops are one of those new, upcoming, uh, interesting hop verities from Australia. So, let's get this one cracked. Um, I haven't had any Leavig beer except the stuff that's been brewed for McKellar, but um, I might have had some at CBC, uh, Copenhagen Beer Celebration, but if that's the case, I don't really remember. Because, uh, you know, you try so much stuff and then you get a little tipsy. And, you know, but there it is. Nice, oh, and it's also brewed with wheat. Nice orange color, nice white head, little white head, almost a finger, put quite gently. Yeah, it looks good, so let's check out the aroma. Mmm, yeah, it smells pretty nice. Um, it has that kind of characteristic you find in Galaxy, that kind of melon, cantaloupe melon, along with a little bit of passion fruit. But I'm actually picking up a lot of grapefruit compared to what I remember uh, from Galaxy. Citrus and notes. I don't know how fresh this is, because it also has a little bit of a, a kind of a sweet or, or sweet and malty aroma. And you kind of sm smell that crisp, wheezy feel too. Yeah, oh, I'm picking, definitely picking up on the, the kind of passion fruit and melon right now. And, and it's not like, like watermelon, so it's like a cantaloupe, as I said, or maybe honeydew melon, something along those lines. It smells quite bitter, too. I mean, it's 100 IBU or so. Yeah, let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Woohoohoo, that is a bitter IPA. Oh, man, you definitely feel those. 100 IBU is just hitting you in the face, which is kind of, it's nice, but the intense bitterness just leaves the flavor of grapefruit to stick out more. Right now I'm picking up mostly like that real bitter, almost dank grapefruit flavor as you find in something like Simcoe. Uh, even though I don't really think usually Galaxy is that dank, but quite nice. Body's medium, uh, dry as in most IPAs. Definitely picking up, like up front, a little bit of that passion fruit and a little bit of the melon character. But then the aftertaste is just tons and tons of grapefruit, a, a real bit of grapefruit, along with that a slightly piney flavor. The malt is very like balanced out in the flavor. It, the flavor is more fresh, which is interesting, which is probably also because of the bitterness. I do get a little bit of that almost crisp, kind of wheezy, malty feel, but the hops, especially the bitterness, really covers it up. It also has a little bit of a, other than the tropical fruit, a little bit of a, a tropical fruit, passion fruit. It has a little bit of that kind of um, a sweet citrus fruit flavor, but it's not as much. It's, it's just a little bit in the initial sip. It's like juicy in the initial sip, but then it just gets a big oomph for bitterness. Uh, I like the real bitter big IPAs, but I'm more into more, I mean, if this just had a little more, more, more of a juicy character, that would be really nice. But still, it's a great, pretty interesting beer. And this is also part of the Levik Brewers Reserve series. Uh, I think all the beers he gave me were part of that. But so far, it's off to a good start. Uh, pretty tasty IPA, an insanely bitter one at that too. Uh, but yeah, rating-wise for the Levik Galaxy IPA, Single hop galaxy. Now, I'm gonna go straight up. Yeah, it's not straight up. I'm gonna go 85. 
it's really nice. It's a really good IPA, but I like more of the melony kind of passion fruity flavors instead of just that intense bitter grapefruit and slight piney flavor you're left with in the aftertaste. Other than that, I think it's a really good IPA. Uh, good start for Lea V. And I think I'm gonna, right after this, I think I'm gonna go and crack open the the Rye IPA. And Rye IPAs are all, always nice. So, uh, yeah guys. Uh, thanks a lot to Inge. Inge for the beer. It's nice to try some stuff you've never had before. Uh, and definitely guys, let me know what you think of the um, Lea V Brewers Reserve Galaxy Single Hopped IPA if you've had it. And as always guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and also a big shout out to Die by the Beer Blog, because they're from uh, the area around where Leerweg is from. They're from Stavanger. I don't know if Leerweg is actually from Stavanger. I think they are. I'm not entirely sure, but oh well. Cheers guys, and uh, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the uh, Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I guess I'll see you guys in another beer review.